your Instagram, your your music. Just tap like in. That. Just tap in and follow me. I'm a stylist, creative director, production. I work in the um, music entertainment business. Um, Free ten and one certified. So y'all fuck with me out here in Dallas. I travel to uh, Houston, Austin, and LA all the time to do work. Um, Skywest, two Ys, two underscores, big shit, B C E O, twenty twenty three. Don't play with it. That's my doll right there. So Don't yeah, I appreciate it. you coming out, uh, being on time and all that good stuff. Thank you. I love y'all. Fuck with y'all for real. Appreciate it. You have a good one. Um, we gonna keep rocking out for a little bit longer, but go ahead, cause I'm about to roast this. Matter of fact, you, you done lost your teammate shit. too, so it's a wrap. Go okay, ahead. Okay, I can hold my own weight. I, I, okay, we gonna find out. That being said, um, going. So you had a point. Go ahead and make your point. I just made my point. And okay. my point was I do not want to have sex with men who had sex with 200 women. I have not even reached the pinnacle of having sex with near, nowhere near 200 men. There's no way a man can value himself. And you saying Pornhub and all of this stuff, but this man is knocking down. All 200 women is not baddies. There's some fat bitches in there. I mean, like, I'm not women. Please don't, like, target me for this. But I'm just saying, it's some big girl. It's some... Women that are not cute, it's some, like it's you know what I'm saying. You're not but just you knocking down. What, what if they? What if they? Unless were... you're like Chris Brown or something. Okay, like so that. what if it was Chris Brown? This did you see? <laughs> <laughs> crazy, and that's another Dang. point. That's another point right there. It's like y'all judge, crazy. y'all crazy. judge, like a, y'all ju- y'all this. judge off of quality, and it's like, and this this is the point I'm making. The guys that you want, they tend to have the quality that lets them get past all of that. Chris Breezy get a pass. That's just the reality. So, at the end, like, I, I never understand. <laughs> I never understand. Well, I'm saying the guys in the 1%, right? Because here's, the, here's the reality. And and sure. if you if you um if you ever watch some of the, uh, okay. If you ever watch, like. Uh, who, who is Dr. Matt? Who is uh, He's a subscriber. Shout out to Dr. Matt for being in the chat, man. I appreciate you, bro. Um, but if you ever watch some of these. First of all, I'm I'm here, right? I got you. So if you ever watch like any of the Fresh and Fit, or if you ever watch any of the like the celebrities in general, like the talk uh, podcast, right? Yes. What you'll find out is that a lot of these guys who you may not know, like in their, on their side of the the, uh, the corner, they're known, right? But you may not know them from Adam, right? Okay. A lot of those guys are having sex with the same women that Chris Brown and all these other celebrities are having. And sex that's with. their business. It is, but the point I'm making is that the guys in that one percent. And the ten percent, those guys tend to have the quality of women that make you go. He is who he is, and those are the guys that you tend to want, anyways. You want to know why? As a woman, go ahead. I mean, this might just sound very fucked up to say because mm-hmm. <laughs> they have the money and they have the status. There you ding that thing. Thank you. We had old girl had to leave before she started talking the truth. Nah, that's crazy. Okay. All right, so. You want the guys with the money and the status First and the guy in the game, Jose, right? Wait, hold on. You want the guys with the money and the status who can raise you up, right? Huh? You want the guys with the money and the status who can raise you up, right? It's not all about money and status. But don't get me wrong. I would don't get me Bruh. wrong. Uh-huh. The type of men that I attract, they do have money and status. Okay. Not Chris Brown level. I would love to be. But but they have money and status. They got the stuff that you want. Yeah, and okay. I know other women are vetting them, of course. That's all I want. Okay, there we go. I know other women are vetting them. So how, now not, we gonna... I would be oblivious to think other women are not vetting them. So how do you keep that man's attention? Because I'm going somewhere with all these questions, but go ahead. How do I keep the man's attention? Mm-hmm. I think... Because your issue is you don't want him throwing his dick around. So how do you keep him, his dick on you? Uh, Being peaceful. What does that mean? Just providing him peace. What like, mean? literally, give, give I think just being his safe space. Honestly, what like him mean? being able to talk to me about things he can't talk to anybody about, like coming to me like, "This is my day at work." Mm-hmm. Like for real, I'm not mm-hmm. just making this. You shit really up. believe that? Okay. No, I'm no. This is like literally what's happening. You think I'm capping, but I'm not. Yeah. And it's, you got those guys. Those guys that you dated in your past did that. Where are they at now? I I stopped talking. To them. <laughs> this is why. Hey, they say I, it all I the time. This is why you don't them. take advice. From women, and I'm not trying to be like whatever she knows yes, me. I'm not should. trying to be like whatever. What I'm saying is this: a lot of the times, what you guys do is this. And hear me out when I say this: a lot of the time, what you guys do is this. You say you want the things that you want from a man, the things that you actually want for yourself, right? You will give the things to a man, the things that you want for yourself. Let me say it clearly. Let me say it again: yeah. you will give the things to a man, what you want for yourself. Yeah. Safe space, conversation, 
all of these little buzzwords. I want peace. all of the things that money can buy. Right, peace. And why and you know can't what, man and provide you know what, And you know what that, you said what? Why can't man provide those things? You want to know what that brings for a man? What? What you just gave him. You stop talking to him. That's what happens. You go, you go from admiring him from face value to going, man, this nigga's a little bitch. <laughs> this nigga's always in my den. What the fuck you saying good morning to me for? I don't care about that. Dennis. I got a, I got a, I got a homegirl right now. I got a homegirl right now. She will tell you, I do not like a guy who texts me more than three times in a day. Because then I start asking myself, what are you doing? No, don't you got something to do? Calling me all and text me all day, like you don't have anything. To exactly, like, but you know what you just busy? said conversation safe space so what if that dude is calling you say babe you know what i want to tell you about my day please give me some peace you're gonna be like bro don't you got some work to do i'm gonna give him peace but i don't want it i don't want it a hundred percent she gonna hey look she's gonna give you peace thing. and then she's gonna stop talking to you let's be honest don't say let's that. be honest that's what happens though right if he's blowing me down and he doesn't have anything else because i have a busy day I, know. I can't I be with. You. I can't be hitting a nigga up all day, twenty four seven. I work sixty. But hours. he needs you to be his peace all day. Exactly. See, that's the, why yeah. you only talk to your boys, for, Go to the gym. That's why you only talk to your boys, fellas. That's why you only talk to your boys. You let them give you what you need, as far as like energy, peace, or whatever. Like, so here's the thing. Um, I used can to play. I rebuttal that though. So what, what part? The go to the your boys part. Okay, so are you listening to what I'm saying right now? I am, but I'm okay, gonna so say. Okay, so how are you gonna rebuttal if you're listening? I'm gonna say to no, no, go wait. To Answer your the question. Boys. How are you gonna rebuttal if you're listening? Sika, I'm you can't say rebuttal to, if you're listening. No, I am listening to you, but I'm, I'm not even done talking. So how are you listening? How do you rebut something but, I ain't finna say? Exactly. See, this is what I. <laughs> all, all I'm saying is this: I played right. I played sports all my life. One of the main so things. So have I. Okay. One of the main things that we did when we played sports is we lifted each other up. When you missed a tackle, dudes were like, don't even worry about it. You're going to get the next one. When you get, when you did something good, everybody was like, oh, when you scored a touchdown, everybody did the line dance, whatever whatever you did, right? When we was on the bus, we did the we did all the, uh, the things that made each other uh, want to do better. That's the group that you need to help you get through the day when things are going to shit. Okay. That's what you need. You don't need your woman so because as soon as you start talking that shit to your woman, I'm not saying it's going to be day one, day two, day three, day four. But as soon as you start leaning on your woman to bear the burden and the responsibility that you're supposed to bear, she's not going to be able to take it and she's going to start admiring you less. That's the reality. I'm not saying that you don't tell her anything. What I'm saying is that you tell her the little things and then you fix it. You and tell you her the things that, that really don't matter. How was your day? Well, you know, this nigga was talking shit. What I happened? I fixed with, it. I agree with Sika 100% because a woman, as a woman, me, I'm not speaking for the rest of you guys, but as for me, I do not want a man who is bitching. Like, we do not want an emotional ass nigga who's crying all the time. Please figure your shit out. And when Sika, when he's saying go to your homeboys, please go to your smart homeboys because there's a lot of homeboys who don't want their homeboys to be successful in their relationship. Oh, no, that's facts. Like, there's a lot of homeboys who are like, damn, I wish I had what he had. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish I had the life this nigga had. And I've seen it. And I've heard it. So when when he says go to your homeboys, go to your small homeboys who's actually happy in their relationships, who actually has had a successful journey with the person, their partner, with who they're with. Right. So, like, all things being ideal and all things being equal, you want to go to your boys. You want to vet your circle, obviously, but you want to go to your boys. What you don't want to do is go to your woman saying, please bring me peace and please let's have a conversation. I don't know any man, including myself, who really cares to tell about, talk about their day. I don't know too many men who do. Seriously. I Guys have... will do it. We will do it because we love the person. We will do it because we appreciate the person. We'll do it for you. We won't do it for us. That shit don't do nothing. Like We could go all day and not say nothing. We I straight. think it depends on what type of man you are because you're coming from an alpha man status and I can already tell that. But like I'm just saying for a beta man, they will cry. Yeah, they lot. will. But you won't like that. I don't. Exactly. So if you like want the it. if you want the girl, guess what? Stop being a little bitch. Stop crying and Please fix it. Stop. Fix it. Fix it in your corner with your guys and then come back out a man. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. She's been taking L's all day. I'm about to baptize you in this. <laughs> See, let me read off these. Uh... 
Hey y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.